Hey guys, this is Manak and you are watching an uh, episode of Spill Bro. So uh, this video is mainly focused on uh, you know, this reading and execution of structural drawing. So this is for beginning uh, beginners, civil engineers, not for the experienced one. They already know how to do this. So uh, what happens is, uh, you know, mainly due to our uh, course curriculum and we are civil engineers are trained in such a way in theory part that, uh, you know, majority of them don't know how to read drawings at sight. And uh, basic understanding, obviously, they try and reach out to get. So uh, this is a video is made where we can just uh, know how to approach a structural drawing. Obviously, the different structural drawings you'll we'll find will be different. But you here we'll see uh, in the main main part, there is the column part and foundation part of a structural drawing uh, made, uh, which are made. So I just uh, go through that and uh, we'll show you how to you know just read and what the different things mean in the structural drawing. Okay, so let's start. So uh, here you can have this is a you know this is a column layout and this like file layout. First of all, you should read the notes and what the notes say is all the dimensions in mm and it cannot be scaled. Reinforcement as fp 500 d as you know now you know in, uh, if you solve numericals in uh, you know, your texts uh, many you will find fp 415 but now currently fp 550 has been used. Uh, is being used if 550 and 500 are, are available in the market. So, FP500 minimum you have to use here, and uh, the uh, you know, unit strength is given here, and then the concrete grade is M25, and uh, then the cover of, for this lab 20 and retaining all 30, foundation 50, minimum this is the minimum cover, column 40, and beam, beam 30, and development length will be uh, 50 times the dia of bar. So, these are the things, and the building design is for ground plus plus. So this is a G plus one building, ground plus first floor. So we'll explain all, all these things. So uh, now, in this particular part, if you have any you know, doubt in this particular notes, then you can just comment below. I'll um, explain it to you. Uh, let's move on to the drawings here. Okay. So uh, now, you know, before moving on to the drawings, I'll just show you what is the cover here. So the cover is from the edge of the reinforcement to the, you know, you know, this uh, first point or the outer part of the reinforcement. So this is the cover. So in the case of columns, it is 40 and beams, it is 30, slabs 20. So like this, it is mentioned. And uh, you can find the development length. To explain the development length, uh, I'll just show you this. So this is the development length. Uh, let me just show you another uh, diagram. So like this, this is this, uh, this column uh, here, it ends here and it goes like that. So the part of the uh, you know reinforcement of the column inside the beam, this is the development length. This is the part of the development length. And uh, now up to this much, the portion inside the beam, this is the part of the development length. So the portion starting from here, I'll just make a separate uh, you know uh, thing here. This portion and uh, the portion up to this much, here to here, okay, up to here. So this portion, this portion and this portion is development length uh, and it joins you know it makes a bond between the between two structural members here we have a beam and which is a structural member and a column which is another structural member so length of this particular uh, you know extension or development length should be 50 d and d means the diameter of the bar in mm so the diameter of the bar is uh, let's say we suppose here 25 mm so it will be 50 into 25 so if you do 50 into 25, uh, it will be your 1 to 5 zero. So 1 to 5 zero uh, mm or 1.25 meter, you have to give the development length. So this is the thing and lap length is also 50 D, which is uh, given here. So this all, uh, uh, these things will be mentioned here. Now, uh, now lap, what is lap length? Now you can see lap length is the is this thing, you know, when, uh, when, you, when you purchase a bar from the market, this bar the length is generally, your uh, 12 meters. So at portions of the bar, at specified designated portions of the uh, building, we can give lapping. The, the, like this, you can see in the column, the lapping zone is, uh, if you leave uh, edge by four, the total uh, the total height is edge, and edge by four from the top and edge by four from the bottom, then you can give lapping that too in, you know, in a staggered way. You cannot give in one location. In a staggered way, you have to give. So like this, you can, Provide the lapping in columns. The same uh, there are different, there are, are the same convention for the beam. I'll also show you that portion also where to give the lapping zones for beams. Okay, so uh, now you have to see the column layout. Now 
you can observe that the size of the column 450 into 450 and 600 into 600. First of all, you observe the sizes where you go in the field and do the layout. So the sizes, uh, you have this two types of uh, sizes here. And uh, the, the center line or the grid line, you can see here, grid line is at the center. And whenever the grid line is not in the center, the portion is mentioned. Suppose this is a 450, 450 column and the grid line is not at the center here. So it is 150 from the center, this side and 300 from the you know center at this side. So like this, you need to place the columns and this no nothing is mentioned so, it, so this is the center around the both the sides so like this you have to place all the columns where you do the layout similarly when uh, you have the pile cap and the pile layout pile layout also the distances from the column are given you have to first to do the pile uh, you know layout and after the pile has been done then you can do the pile cap pile cap depth has been given 600 mm and this uh, the reinforcement is given in the bottom a 16 mm bar is there 125 spacing both ways and the top 100 mm uh, sorry 10 mm bar is there 200 spacing both ways so like this it is there and uh, if you see uh, from the footing here uh, the development length here is minimum this uh, from the, for the footing to the you know this uh, particular column to the footing is minimum 300 mm and uh, here we have given uh, you know this, uh, this is uh, you know a pedestal so this is uh, given 100 mm uh, width in addition to the column width and the 500 mm you know height. So this is a you know pedestal which has been used uh, for the for the connection of the column to the uh, foundation. This also needs to be given. So these are the things which are given here, and it is also noted here the hooks will be you know bent at 135 degree to prevent you know this uh, for better seismic resistance as per the IS code. So these are the standard practice, and you can see here. The reinforcement suppose we just go for checking the reinforcement of one particular uh, you know column here so this is c c1 450 to 450 it is four bars of 25 mm and it is denoted as 4a so now you have four bars of 25 mm and eight bars of 20 mm in c so which is the higher diameter of the bar 25 so 25 will act in will be placed in all the four corners the remaining 20 mm bars will be placed elsewhere for 450 to 450 mm uh, columns Remember that we can give 12 number of, uh, there will be 12 number of reinforcement. Okay, that's why you'll see. And for 600 into 600 or 500 into 500 columns, there will be maximum 16 number of reinforcement, which is used. You will. So, uh, like this, you will find uh, the uh, details here. Now, another thing, important thing, we need to know what, what is the lab zone in case of beams. So, you must have seen various conventions for the lapping zones in beam. But as this, uh, this one is very simply, I'll try to explain to you. So the lapping zone of, uh, you know, beams, uh, if you see uh, this, the drawing will also be given in any big project. The drawing for lapping zone beams is also given in the general notes or in the main drawing itself. It is given like it is given here. So you can see uh, the lapping zone or LD, which is given in 2D or L, L, L1 by 4, whichever is more, you can, you know, just uh, perform the lap there. So what does it mean? So suppose this is uh, the length of the beam. Uh, it, this this one is uh, let's say a uh, 10 meter. So if the 10 meter is the length of the beam. Then uh, you can find uh, L by 4. So 10 by 4. So not the length of the beam. The length of the span. Sorry, 10 by 4, which is uh, equals to your 6. So you know L by 4 is 6 or 2D. And 2D is the D is the great diameter of the greater bar. So, you know, this, uh, if you do this uh, 2D, it will be 2 into, let's say, uh, 25 mm bar has been used as the maximum. So, 2 into 25, which is 50. So, 2D is uh, 50. And, uh, you know, this uh, particular uh, thing, L by L1 by 4. Sorry, D is given here. D is actually, the, you know, the depth of the uh, beam. So, depth of the beam in this particular beam, let's say depth of the beam is uh, 650. So 650 into 2, 650 into 2, the, it is 1300. And uh, 10 by 4 is 2.5. So 2.5 is more. Uh, in general cases, you'll find that L by 4 is more. Then uh, if you leave 2.4 from here and 2.4 from here, in the remaining region, you can give the lapping okay, for the bottom bar. You can see typical reinforcement uh, for bottom bars in beams. You can give here. And for the top bars, means uh, means uh, at the bottom, you can give a lapping after leaving 
L by 4 from the support. In some videos or in some books, you can find that lapping of the bottom bars can also be given at the junction between the column and beams. So that is also correct. That is not a wrong uh, thing. Okay. Sometimes we, if you have many bars, like if, if you have six bars in the bottom, three continuous and three extra bars, we need to give some uh, some part lapping here and some lapping in the junction that we have to do. Okay. And in the top part, uh, in the moment, uh, you know, if you can see the moment is, uh, you know, uh, you know, maximum, uh, you know, at the joints and junctions. Uh, so, you know, we avoid lapping at the junctions, obviously, at the top. And we can give it the, you know, at the middle we can give. So, you know, it is given L by 2 or L by 3, L2 by 3. So, L2 is this one, as you can see, L2. So, the length of the span by 3. So, suppose if, if this is a 10, uh, 10 meter span, L by 3, it will be 3.33. So, 3.33 meter, leaving 3.33 meter from here uh, and here, we can provide the lapping, okay? So, lapping can be provided if we leave uh, L by 3 from this uh, side. So, basically, uh, in the bottom, we avoid lapping at the, uh, generally, we avo avoid lapping at the center, okay? And we prefer giving lapping uh, at L by 4 from the support. And if you don't, cannot give L by 4 from the support, then we provide at the junction for the bottom bar. And for the top bar, we provide at L by 3 from the support. That is in the central region or central part, we provide the lapping. So hope this video helps and uh, for, you know, more, you know, topics and uh, well, like obviously come with more videos related to uh, for civil engineers uh, and for if related to structural engineering related to uh, execution on site and if you have any topic on any particular topic in which you want the video uh, make sure you comment below and also make sure like and subscribe it really helps the algorithm so see you then keep learning bye bye